Hi, I'm Josh Ackman with Park Industries Customer Service Department. And on this video, we are going to be setting spindle orientation. We are on a Titan FAP center today. The, it will be consistent with a 1000 and 2000 series Titan and a 3000 series, but the screens will change a little bit on your 3000 series. So start out with here, we're gonna to come to our screen. We're gonna to go to setup and tool rack setup. And I'm going to be setting my orientation for the spindle in tool rack one, position one here. Before you enter your tool rack area and before you hit access tools, we do want to make sure we orientate the spindle. So we can see here my orientation position is 89.9. We want to um, make the current position match. So we'll just go over here, hit orientate spindle. It will rotate that spindle where it will get that close to that orientation position there. So I'm just gonna switch over and go to pendant assist, which enlarges everything. I can see I'm on position one. If I wanted to, I can move to whatever position I need to. Over here, you can see the absolute position. That's the position your machine is in right now. And over here, you can see the stored position of the pocket location. So I'm going to start by lining up my Y axis on here. If your tool rack is in the back of the machine, you would want to start lining up your X axis. So I'm just using my F1, 2, and 3 for my for how much I want my movement to be. So now that my Y axis lines up, I'm going to I'm going to line up my Z axis next. So up here for tool rack one, this is the Z position at negative 23.589. Select my Z. So now that my z-axis matches, I can just drive my x all the way over. And it will stop before it gets into the tool rack area. So right there at 14 and a half it stopped. I need to select access tools so I can get into the tool rack area there and access the tool locations. Now I need to slowly drive my X axis over until I get up to that tool rack. From there, I wanna memorize that X location and watch my screen, because that's all the farther I wanna go with my X location. But we also wanna make sure the clip lines up. So we're gonna go over to the tool rack location here. Just gonna get it right up to the clip here. Now I wanna make sure my clip lines up. The notch right here needs to line up with the on the clip right here for that up seat into place. Now we're going to go back to the screen for one moment here because I want to check my position. I'm just going to go back to the tool rack screen 
I can see my current position is at 266.6. I want to try keeping that to a lower number when setting the tool rack. You can see my original orientation position was only at 88. So I'm going to just... And now I'm closer to that 77.2. So now we're going to drive that straight in until my, go back to pen assist, until I'm fully into my tool rack and my x-axis location matches here. Now, once I start getting to that little clip that locks it into place, I want to take my hand or a wrench and just give it a little turn to make sure that I'm lining up with Once you start lining up with that clip, you can kind of feel it catch on both sides. So I'm just going to put it centered, slowly drive in. Now it is common if you have a tight tool clip that the tool is going to want to rotate on, it, on you. So you want to keep checking that to make sure it's not spinning on you. I'm also watching my screen Okay, so now, once you have that in your tool pocket, what we're gonna do is set up our dial indicator. You wanna set your dial indicator up right on the edge, um, on this lip here, so when you rotate your tool side to side, you can record that movement. I already preset my dial indicator. So I'm just going to touch that off, right on that edge there. Then I want to take a look at my dial indicator. Whenever you're using dial indicator, always note where the small dial is. And then, so I'm about on the three and a half. And then I want to just turn my outside dial to zero. I'm going to put my wrench back on without bumping the dial indicator. I'm just going to rotate it one way. Put slight pressure on it, about nine thou, and then rotate the other way, and I got about two thou on there. So I want to just find center of that. about there. So once I have center with that dial indicator, we're going to go back up to our screen. We're going to go back to our tool rack location. And down in the bottom corner here, we are going to capture that. 
hit yes and okay and actually my values match there so we are all good and our tool is oriented now the spindle knows what position it needs to be in when it changes tools to capture the spindle orientation on a titan 3k or 4k model you will need to be logged in as a maintenance or hire user Go to the Tool Rack Setup page. Click on Tool Pocket Access. Click on Go To to orientate the spindle. Click on Capture to capture the orientation. That's all we have with this. If you guys have any questions, please give our customer service department a call and we'll be able to help you out with that. Thank you.